This is John G. Lake's letter to Carrie Jeb Montgomery, written April 22, 1911. He writes to her because a man had come over there to investigate the work. He says, Dear Sister in Christ, Enclosed, find some letters with incidents, etc., of what the Lord is doing among us. I haven't a copy of the letter I wrote some time ago to a missionary by the name of Hoover at Valparaiso, Chile, on the subject of divine healing. So he, now he's talking about a letter that he wrote to another missionary on divine healing. He's talking about this letter. He says, this letter which embodies what I regard as the secret of the aggressive ministry of healing that the Pentecostal movement of South Africa demonstrates. I feel, sister, that there is a step in this ministry in advance of what the Pentecostal movement in general enjoys. In other words, we're seeing more than the other people. And God has laid it deeply on my soul to present this particular phase of the exercise of the dominion of Jesus Christ. Now, he explains. Remember, he's telling them no secret. Can't argue with the person that does it. Right? If somebody's doing it, and you say, how did you do that? And you go, well, here's how I did it. And you go, no, that's not right. Okay, you can't do that. The person that did it, did it. Right? You listen to them. So he says, and that the secret of our success here in this ministry, you want the secret? John's like secret? Here it is. Is in our teaching our workers to exercise the dominion of God through the Holy Ghost. And that he has already put it in their soul when he baptized them. In other words, we teach them to exercise dominion. Right? And that they have that dominion the minute they got baptized in the Holy Ghost. Right? So, with the Holy Ghost, you shall receive power, ability. After that, the Holy Ghost comes on you. Watch this. He says, while in other branches of this work, in other words, the other branches of the Pentecostal movement, they still follow largely the old line of intercession for the sick. What does that mean? They still beg and cry and ask God to heal and touch. He said, that's why they're not seeing the results that we are. Why? Because we're not begging, we're not crying, we are exercising the dominion of God. We are commanding. Watch, he says, we do not pray for God to come and heal as in the old days, but looking into his face, believing that he has baptized us in the Holy Ghost, and that we have received the power of God through that baptism, we command, in the name of Jesus, the devil and his works to depart. I am convinced that there is a secret and better place of interceding for the sick in exercising a dominion of God over the devil and his sicknesses that when learned by the Pentecostal movement will put the ministry of healing miles in advance of where it is now. Now he said, look, if the church would get this, the healing ministry would just rock it. It would just take off. This was in 1911. Here it is, 2009. And the church still hasn't got it. They still beg, they still cry for everything. Not just healing, but everything else.